Come on now, Professor. We know you're in there. Our boss needs that book of yours, and he needs it now. Hey, boss, I think they dozed off in there. How about you be a nice gentleman and give him the old wakey-wakey, yeah? <laughs> My pleasure. They're gone! The boss ain't gonna like this one bit. Gone! I talked to him an hour ago, and he swore they weren't going anywhere. Sir, don't worry. I think we got our lead. He'll go on. What is it? It's a knot, sir. Someone's drawn a cycle around the words gas and charter. Gas and charter? What do I care about gas and charter? Just find out who has my book! Owen oh, Bozzi. Kill them. Kito, what happened to the power? Oh man, Buana, we've been owned. Check this note out. Due to the failure of the customer's part to pay the fee of electrical coverage, Armando Power Core has hereby terminated the contract with this facility. Power will resume once the sum of four thousand dollars is submitted to your Armando Power Core account. Man, we are screwed now. Oh, man. How are we ever going to repair them when our pumps are down? Yeah, selling gas is going to be a whole lot trickier without gas. Yeah, you said it, man. We haven't got a choice, have we? Nope. Let's take this into our own hands. I've always wanted to tear one of these open and meddle with its insides. The warning tape makes it look like a huge Christmas gift too. We'll have our power back and customers coming here in no time. Hey, <laughs> Buona, give me a hand with this. Oh, intriguing. Open the hatch, man. Or are you afraid? Ha! I'm afraid of no hatch. Hmm, I'm guessing these are the thingies that hold the hatch in place. Okay, let's open it up. Hey, it's a switch. I bet it's connected to all sorts of dangerous things. Let's mess with it, man. You sure this is a good idea, man? Nope. Me neither. Let's do it. You read my mind, man. Here goes. Uh... What was that sound? Oops! That's more like it. Good job, man. Thanks, man. Let's go, Mandy Pumps. Welcome to Buenos Gas and Chata, ma'am. Hi, I... Just a moment while I get the pump going. No, that's all right. I'm not here for... Hey, wait a minute, lady. Where's your boat? 
That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not here for gas. I took a taxi. My name is Lena. I come from the university. I'm looking for a very special old book. A book? <laughs> Listen, lady. This is a gas station. We don't sell no books. Actually... For you, lady, we just started selling them. What you talking about, Buana? <laughs> we ain't got no books. Sure we do. Remember Count Andoro's old loft? It's full of old books. They don't do us any good up there. You got a point, man. Anything to clear that debt. Great. Where can I find them? Right this way, lady. Oh, man. I knew I had forgotten something. What? What's wrong? We used the ladder steps as firewood the other day. For some reason, at the time, it felt like a smart thing to do. Now, I wonder... Looks like we're gonna have to find some new steps for the ladder. You stay put while I figure something out. Okay, I'll wait right here, Mr. Buona. It's a bunch of folders we made to lively up our business. Never mind the suspiciously low price. Cow Nandodo's gas and charter covers all of your fuel and transport needs. No questions asked. Call 99450 and we'll make an offer you may not refuse. All that's in here is a bunch of boring letters from the power company. I quote, Dear customer, your power provider, Johnson Electric, has been purchased by Armando Electric, who hereby takes over your current power plan and contract. Contrary to your previous power supplier, we demand payment to be made regularly and on time. Those cold-hearted bastards! Johnson Electric always cut us slack when times were rough. Power to your facility will be cut within a month unless your balance with us is zeroed. I was kind of hoping they were just bluffing, so I sort of forgot about all these letters. Oops. That's my pilot certificate. Count Andoru gave it to me a couple days before he disappeared. Hey! I found breadsticks! I love breadsticks! Holy mother of monkeys! These breadsticks are stale! This might be dumb enough to work. Man, they fit perfectly. Let's hope they don't snap when we climb them. After you, lady. Man, I haven't been here since I was a little kid. It's just the way I remember it. The only thing missing is that fool of a father of mine, Count Andodo. Missing? Where'd he go? We've no idea. He just disappeared one day when we were kids, and we ain't heard from him ever since. But we've done just fine without him here. Aside from some slight financial instability, we've done fine. You find what you're looking for, lady? I wanna get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Oh, sorry. No, I can't seem to find the book I'm looking for. Could you help me find it, perhaps? It's supposed to be leather-bound and have a big swirly symbol on its front. Sure, no problem. I bet it's in this mess somewhere. So that's where we hid our paintbrush. It's full to the brim with moth-eaten clothes. Yuck! Hey, here's a shirt that stayed more or less intact. Looks like it fits me too. I'll keep it. I remember lying in this bed having stories read to us. We had some good times before he dumped us here on our own. That's for sure. I don't remember the bed being so darn stiff though. Wait a minute. There's something... Hey, lady! I think I might have found your book. You found it? Amazing! What's so special about this whole thing? 
It's the journal of the journey down. The what? It's a collection of scribbles and notes on how to reach the Underland. The Underland? Isn't that sort of illegal? Yes, so much as touching the Underland literature is illegal. I spend all my time looking for it. You spend all your time looking for illegal literature? What for? Aren't you afraid of getting caught? Oh, they haven't caught me so far. Well, who's after you? You know of the Armando Company, I take it? Sure, everybody knows of them. We recently became customers. You together with the rest of St. Armando, I have reason to believe there's something fishy going on in the city. And someone is covering it all up. And somehow, I'm certain this book is the key to understanding the whole puzzle. I need to call the university immediately to confirm this find. Here you go, lady. I'm sorry, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, man. I bet the switchboard reset itself when we lost the power. Give me a second. I'll have it fixed. Yeah, looks like we're gonna need to re-enter the phone number of this place. It would have been a piece of cake if it weren't for the fact that I forgot it. Ah, that's it! Hello, Professor. This is Lena. Calm down, calm down. What's happened? Good God. Did they steal anything? No, that's all right now that we have the book. Don't worry, I know just the place to hide. This plane of yours, does it fly? Of course, lady. She's as good as new. Wanna air at your service. Great. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Here she is. A precious airplane. Come on in and check out the insides. What do you think, lady? A beauty, isn't she? Yes, yes, it's very uh, charming. But can you get her airborne? Airborne? Are you crazy, lady? This plane hasn't flown for decades. One moment, please. You got to help me out here. We need this money so bad, and you know it. One flight and our debt to the power company will be long gone. You think you can get her running? I have no idea. Do you still think you can fly her? Hey, there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> I guess you're right, Buana. Let's give it a shot. That's the spirit. Of course we can get her airborne. Great. That's what I wanted to hear. Just give us a couple minutes to do some tiny touch-ups and then we'll be on our way. A couple of minutes? Tiny touch-ups? Yeah, what's the big deal, man? What are we missing? Well, for starters, we have no engines. Oh. And we're missing a propeller, too. Also, we're gonna need something to steer with. No worries, man. You get started while I go find the missing junk, okay? Okay, mon. Good luck, part hunting. A pair of engines, a propeller, and something to steer with. Shouldn't be too hard to come by. Hey, lady! Please, you can call me Lena. How come you in such a hurry, lady? Well, I just talked to my professor over at the university. And let's just say he's made some enemies in the academic world recently that have made us a bit... nervous. Enemies? What kind of a professor is he? You haven't heard of Professor Steeplegenger Moorhead? Let me enlighten you. When I first started working for him, I was just as convinced as anyone else that he had a screw loose. What? He's nuts? Not exactly. You see, Moorhead was once a highly recognized scientist. A real big name in geology. But ever since he started lecturing about conspiracies and cover-ups, he completely lost all the credibility he had built up over the years. The only reason the university keeps him on the payroll is because there would be an outrage in the educated world if he was given the boot. 
Whether he's nuts or not, he deserves the position. Anyhow, having worked with him for a while, I started realizing that whether he was crazy or not, much of the research he set me on came up blank. Blank? Why? Not sure. I started getting really suspicious. Someone had been erasing their tracks very thoroughly. Whole records have disappeared from the libraries. Old newspaper prints have been removed. Even old family photo albums I've looked up have been obviously edited and smeared. And no one except Moorhead is questioning this. The only lead I've found so far that hasn't been removed is this book of yours. I need to hide and make sense of it before this too is erased. That is why we are in a hurry to get the airplane going. How did you know to search for the book here? The professor received a letter about the book and he sent me to go look it up. I just figured it was sent by whoever lived here. So who's covering everything up? Well, many signs point toward Armando Electric. And the more I'm looking into it, it seems like the government is in on it as well. The government? Sure. Do you realize how many new laws have come into existence the last couple of years regarding the Underland? Obviously, someone wants to keep the people in the dark regarding what is really going on down there. What do you think they're hiding? I'm not sure. You remember how when our generation were kids, we used to hear stories about the amazing Underland? Sure. My dad used to read us stories about it all the time. Same here. Now compare that to what it's like now. Ever since the Power Co. started their operations in the Underland, the stories have all twisted. Now all we hear about the Underland is how dangerous it is. And how incredibly illegal it is to so much as glance over the edge. Well, it probably is dangerous. You do realize those were just children's tales, right? Probably just written to protect us from the scariest stuff. Believe what you wish. What is fact and what is fiction isn't really relevant since both of them are being erased. Either way you look at it, something very fishy is going on, and I'm sure this book will shed some light on things. Tell me about the professor. Professor Moorhead? Sure, he's a real nutcase according to most people. But I've started believing in his crazy conspiracy theories. Or maybe not so much believe in them as at least realize that there's something in them worth looking up. I'm his assistant at the Algibo University in St. Armando, by the way, if I didn't make that clear. So what was this cover-up all about? I don't really know. All I know is that someone is hiding something very, very well, and the professor and me are hell-bent on finding out what is being covered up. We think it has something to do with the power company's recent projects in the Underland, but we aren't sure. I'll go hunt for parts. See you later, lady. Happy hunting! No wonder Kito smells like fish when he sleeps in this slimy thing. I'll borrow it, just in case I need to catch something. We don't need to raise anchor now. Nice fun! Hmm, if only I could get it down somehow so I could use it as a propeller! Cheese! How I love cheese! I better grab this last piece before Keto finds it! It's a patent of a father, Captain Kaunan Dodo. He adopted me and Kito off the streets when we were scumbag kids. Let's dip it white. There we go, man. That should stick nice to the insides of my pockets. Oh, 
Oh, there, you salty sea dog. Key kid, you can relax with the salty sea lingo on us. We are sophisticated sailors, we. Sophisticated? That's what I always said. <laughs> Never mind him. He's had a few too many. So what's on your mind, kid? You didn't bother a hungry sailor in the middle of his meal without a real good reason, did you? Of course not, man. I just had a couple of questions. Shoot! What ship are you on? We're on the fine vessel, MS Corollo. Oh, she's in port over the night for repairs. Caught some bad wind on the last run. But she'll be fine again by tomorrow, and then we set sail again. Sails? Figure a speech, lad. We can set engine if you prefer it. How's the stew tonight? Oh, it's off the charts, kid. Ain't nothing like a fine stew to warm a sailor's cold bones after a long trip. Woo! It's crazy spicy, though. These chilies are killing me. Chilies? You don't like them? I love chilies. Hey, you can have them, kid. Woo! Go ahead. Thanks, man. <laughs> Be careful with those. They can knock an elephant out stone cold. What are you bound for? We'll be heading for Port Archu first thing in the morning. Tis a long, eerie voyage along the eastbound edge to get there, so the whole crew's mighty spooked about it. It's not so good <laughs> about it. What's so eerie about the edge, man? It's scary, man. <laughs> You've no idea of the spooky things that we've seen deep down in the mist. Come on, you're just spooked by old children's tales. I can tell you this much, kid. They're not all just imaginary tales. <laughs> Let's not talk about Dwarf Nightmare. Tell me what you've seen down there. No way, man! I don't want to talk about it! I think you better give my companion here a break. He's been shaking crazy since our last trip. Poor man deserves some R&R &R without having to be reminded of all the scary things hiding in the depths of the mist. I thought going near the edge was illegal! Oh, commercial vessels with the right contacts and permits can coast along it. But if the powers that be catch anyone so much as glancing over the edge, it's hell to pay. Yeah, whatever's down there, you don't want to mess with it. He may be a bit on the fluff rooney but those words are wise. Stay clear of the edge if you value your life, kid. Never mind, Mon. Not gonna disturb your soup. No worries, kid. Hola, Makina. What's up, Buona? What brings you to my fine kitchen? I'm here for the sweet company. <laughs> sure, Buona. If you say so. Free food, please. <laughs> In your sweet Buonese dreams, Buona. How's the stew tonight? Too expensive for you, that's how it is. Oh, that burns, lady. Talk to you later, Makina. You take care of yourself, Buona. Hey, Matoki. How you doing, man? Hi there, Buona. I got all I ever wish from life here. Good cooking and a proper fishing spot. What a beautiful evening. Not a rat in sight. Rat? Oh, yes, I'm terrified of rats, lad. That's why I be resting me limbs here, you know. They just can't get to me no matter how much they skip about. That's mighty clever, man. Say, that's a nice fishing pole you got there. Yep, trusty as heck. Caught me a 12-pound mud juggler the other day. Wow! Wow, indeed. I'm quite proud. A mud juggler? Come on, Buana, you know it's basically the only thing we catch here in Kingsport Bay. Of course, there's tires and the odd rubber boot, but there ain't much eating on those. I wouldn't mind missing out on it anyhow. Oh, don't get too picky. 
Makeda once served my boots to a whole crew of sailors, and they left port happy and dancing. A good chef and a fine spice can fix the foulest stew right up. Tell me more about muddy uglers. Sure. They're tricky buggers to pull up, but a fine treat for the tongue if tended to right. Mama Makena turns the foulest jugglers into gourmet magic. That's a crazy story, but enough about it already. Hey, you're the one who asked. Why you never hang around our docks no more? I'm telling you, man, the rats. I can't stand those foul creatures. They scare me right out of my pants. That's too bad, man. I liked having you around. Heck, this ain't far off. Besides, I've been around for a long time. Even the fish knew this was a bad spot. Yeah, you an old timer, man. How long have you been around King's Park Bay? Oh, long before you were born. Roughly 60 or 70 years, I think. Set me up quite the reputation here in Kingsport Bay, too. You have indeed. So you must know a lot about Kingsport Bay, then. Oh, don't get me started. I could go on forever about this place. But okay, Kingsport is one of seven bays that surrounds our gorgeous capital, St. Armando. Kingsport consists mainly of industrial cargo docks and random odd enterprises such as your charter and McKenna's Diner. I like it here since the area is so nice and calm, yet it has a great view of the city. So tell me about St. Armando. Oh, the tales I could tell about St. Armando are endless. It's an ancient city and its heart throbs in all rhythms known to man. Hmm, actually, throbs doesn't fit as well as convulses. But you get the point. It's lively. I get it. Colorful speak in my talkie. Oh, thank you. Anyhow, all social classes and odd minorities are represented in the city in some strange form or another, so the city just oozes of soul, mind you. Some people even say the city has a soul of itself. So you must know my father well then. Oh yes, he was a fine friend till he disappeared. He loved me fish. Everybody loves your fish, Matoki. Tastiest muddy ugglers in the bay. Sure are. Anyhow, I remember him well. And I do think of the captain now and then. Especially remember the flying lessons he gave you. Boy, you were proud. Of course I was proud, man. He taught me how to pilot this plane at the age of 12. And you haven't flown the plane since, you fool. No, not since he dumped us here. I'm afraid of heights, you know. Learn to fly at the age of 12 and afraid of heights? <laughs> Don't pull me tail. Talk to you later, Matoki. I gotta run. See you around, Buana. I ain't going anywhere. Scared the bananas out of Matoki. He hates rats. Let's see if the rat catches the bait. It actually worked. I can't wait to see Matoki's reaction when he reels in a big juicy rat.
there, man! Check your hook! Hey, I think you're right. I've got something on the line. Oh, oh no, it's a rat! Oh, Buana, could you please unratify my pole for me? I have a slight problem with rats. Sure, man. No problem. I'll get it back to you nice and pest-free. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Finally, the pole is mine. All mine. Oops. The rat ran off with the hook. I found free stuff! It's shaped just like a hook. It's a card terminal for the elevator to the tram stop. Without an ARA or a maintenance card, I'm not going anywhere. Man, I wonder where I get all these stupid ideas. Hey, it worked! Oh man, it must have snapped when I landed. I guess we're gonna have to find some way to put it back together. Say, are you the new deckhand? You ought to know to report in with me before boarding. That's me, man. The new deckhand. Good. Let's hear the password. Password? Hmm. Gee, I'm afraid I've forgotten it. Nice try, lad. Come back when you remember. And I'll let you aboard. Hey, sailors. Hey, kid. I'm the new deckhand on the ship. But... I forgot the password. Sorry, kid. I ain't falling for that one. You're no sailor. You ain't got the right clothes. Look at us. Proper sailor's clothes on us. Never mind, man. Not gonna disturb your soup. No worries, kid. Now it looks just like one of those nerdy sailor suits. What you think about this man? So you are the new deckhand after all. I sure am. Well, I'm glad to be of help, sailor. The password to get on board is Fear the Hungries. I know what it's like to forget the password. Has happened to me and me mate more than once, I can tell you. Good thing you'll have shipmates who can fill you in when you're on the fluff. Good thing, man. See you, uh, on board. Oh, again, sailor. It's boarding time for this deckhand. If you're a deckhand, I'll need the password. I finally remember the password. Okay, let's hear it, lad. Fear the hungries. I knew you had it in you, son. Could see it in your eye, I could. Got the spirit of an adventuring sailor you have. Welcome aboard, lad. 
Oh, and let me see your sailor's outfit. Yeah, man. Oh, boy. This needs some fixing up, I fear. I'll see what I can do with it. Meanwhile, here's a mod to get you started. No reason to keep the deck unwashed simply because it isn't being used. Gee, thanks. Where's the ship heading? We'll be doing another run down through the mist to Port Artu, picking up a nice new load of eel again. Eel? Sure. The eels of the mist be more or less the only thing St. Armando imports from Port Artu. They ain't got much else, son, I can tell you that. You know anything about the Underland? The Underland? Kid, you gotta be careful even mentioning its name. Ask too many questions and you disappear. Come on, man. What's the big deal? Why is everyone so afraid of the Underland? I wouldn't know, son. Our ship never goes further down than Port Artu. And the things you find down there are creepy enough as it is. Tell me about Port Artu. A dark and dreary place it is, always shrouded in mist. A real thick, cold mist it is, too. Go straight to your bones, it does. If you ever set foot down there, be sure to stay on the lookout. Things aren't always what they seem down in the mist. See you later, man. Hi, may the four winds fill your sail. That yacht has got to have a nice pair of engines we can borrow. If only I could find a way to get out there. Hey, mister! Who are you calling mister? Beat it, kid. I'm busy and in a hurry. All these warning signs tell me I just have to mess with this thing, whatever it is. Ah! Oh, that was Bomba! That's a good idea, man. But I need something to mount it on. Hey, you tricked me into welding this thing, didn't you? What? Who? Me? Yeah, you. I'll just take the damn thing and let me get back to work, okay? Hey, that might actually work. Let's give it a shot. That was easy. That won't help. Let's see what this thing is connected to. Oh, I caught me a crab. In you go, little happy claws. Hey, Rufus. I brought you a friend. I bet you'll get along nicely with his big sharp pincers. <laughs> Not 
nothing makes a mammal run to the hills like a nice pair of sharp claws. Greetings, Rasta woman. Hey, how you get past Rufus? Um, I gave him a treat. We're friends now. <laughs> he likes to please in his fur more than he likes you, Buona. I don't believe you for a second. Makina? Yeah, man? Can I borrow this wheel of yours? Sure, man. Let me guess. You're somehow gonna fix your airplane with it. Good call. Wise minds think alike. I got a muddy ugly. Ooh, there's something special about sticking a cold, wet fish in your pocket. Closer, man. That bird might bite my head off. <laughs> I'm not so sure Makina would approve of my cooking, but okay. Hmm, I bet it's a lot tastier now. Hey, there's still some left. Might come in handy. This ought to be interesting. Let's see how Birdie likes some spice. That's not really what I thought was going to happen. It's rusted stuck! I can't so much as nudge it with my bare hands. Maybe this will do the trick. There we go, man! Hey, there's a metal rod in here. I'll take it. I'm sure Mr. Sleepy Bird won't mind. I think these switches control the crane. Maybe I can make it align over the pool in the boat. That way, getting over to the yacht will be a piece of cake, man. Oops, too far. Hmm, tricky. I think there's some form of system to this. These buttons make no sense. Ah, I hate puzzles. I hate puzzles! Screw this, man! There we go, man! Little bit of love and violence did the trick. Looks like it's perfectly aligned over the pool. Let's invade that boat. I'm going with my eyes closed, though. I'm fine with heights as long as I don't see them. I 
I think I'm over the pool now. I'd be more certain if I opened my eyes, but then I'd chicken out. Here goes. Oh man, that hurt. Uh oh. Well, can't say I landed where I thought I would. But hey, I'm on the boat. Let's go exploring. Hola, man. What do you want? I'd like to enter the lounge if I may. What? This deck is for VIP guests only. Crawl back down to the engine room or whichever filthy hole you came from. My life is in ruins. My honor is forever lost. <laughs> Excuse me. Do enter Sobus' kitchen! Yikes! What a hearted! Why you best of me? Oh, I was sure you were gonna do that knife thing again. Oh! Sorry about that. It's a bad habit throwing knives when angry. What's the matter, man? Why this sad face? Ah, uh, it's this too. I can't get it right. I'm a fairy as a chef. Oh, if I screw this too up, my honor will be forever tainted. I'll never find job in kitchen again. What's your cooking? The captain's orders are to serve this crazy local specialty tonight. Yeah, no matter what I try, it just turns out rotten. Local specialty, eh? Let me guess. Maria Glass too? Yes. How'd you know? It smell right? <laughs> No, sorry. Yagla stew is notorious for being tricky, that's all. Oh, I'm lost. Ruined. There's no hope. I must focus. I must not give up. Hmm. You must not disturb me while I'm cooking. McCain over at the diner can help you. I'm sure he's the best chef I know. Do not disturb me! Hello, Makina. What's up, Buona? What brings you to my fine kitchen? What's your trick, Makina? Why is your stew so good? That's no secret, Buona. I use my own magic spice mix. Just cook her up as any other stew, and then add the spice at the end. What's in the spice mix that makes it so special? That, Buona, is my own secret. But I tell you what, I'm all out of spice and I haven't got the ingredients here. If you help me mix up a new jar of it, I'll let you in on the recipe. Sounds like we have a deal, lady. Hmm. Salt, oil, ginger, chili, lemon, and chervil. What the heck is chervil? It's an herb. Good luck finding it. No worries, Makina. I'll have this mixed up for you in no time. Talk to you later, Makina. You take care of yourself, Buona.
Hey, this slimy old piece of lemon at the bottom of the mug is just what I need for the spice recipe. I'll stick it in with the mix. Recycling stuff rocks. Hey, here's a book on herbs. Maybe there's something about shovel in here. Hey, look what I found. It's full of dried pressed herbs. Here's some shovel. I'll grab it and stick it in the spice mix. This isn't exactly extra virgin oil, more like extra tainted filthy oil, but I'm sure no one will know the difference. There we go, oil added. In you go little chilies. This salt will be great for a spice mix. I'll grab some and put it in a mix. Hey, that yacht has got to have a nice pair of engines we can borrow. Uh-oh, it seems like the door's frozen stuck at the top. It's empty. I found a frozen piece of ginger in there. You never know when that might come in handy. I'll just press this whole lump of ginger in here. Hey, this means the spice is finally finished. I can't wait to see if it works. Oh, a piece of gum. Hey, it's minty. My favorite taste. I'll keep it for later. This knob controls the temperature of the Frisco Freeze 2000. There, I've set it to hot. This seems to be the power switch. Seems to have thawed the ice on the door. This other spice things up. What are you, mad? I chop you to small pieces! Man, chill with the knife. Try the stool. I'm sure it's better. This. Crazy foreign spice! It is giving me a tingling sensation! It's delicious! My honor is saved! Man, you're freaking me out with that knife. Oh, sorry. Finally, I can get out with the canapes. The guests must be starving. Uh-oh. I think baby bread was in oven too long. I must have toast for canapes. Relax, man. I'll hook you up with some toast. That would be much appreciated. I do mix for canapes now. Thank you for your help, friend.
Let's see what's in here. Pickled Spoonbeak, Gemini Rhubarb, Lawrence's Deep Fried Chocolates? What mad pile of monkeys filled this freezer anyways? Hey, here's some sliced bread. If only I can find a way to toast it. It would be exactly what Sabo needs for his canapes. There we go, Insta Toast. Fresh from the toaster. Wonderful! Thank you, friend. Oh, finally, I can finish canopies. Hey, Sabo. You want some help serving these? Yes, thank you. I am much busy. No problemo, man. Hey, let me in. I got canapes. Get lost, you filth. Hey, did I hear someone say canapes? Oh, how I've waited for something to feast on. But, sir, <laughs> surely you are not letting this filth into the VIP room. Surely I am. Any filth with canapes is a friend of mine. Have a drink and relax. Come with me. Nobody likes me. Hold it, kid. Let me have some canopies. Hey, that's my favorite kind you got there. I'm so glad you're not serving those nasty white ones from the last time I was here. I didn't like them at all. No siree. Oh, these are delicious. Oh man, you finished all my canopies. Sorry, I... I just couldn't help myself. Okay, here goes. Hopefully that'll stop the hungry man from eating them all. Hold it, kid. Let me have some canopies. Hey, these are those nasty white ones. Oh, I don't like them at all. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, sir. It's all the kitchen has to offer at the moment. <laughs> Don't worry, kid. I've got my fill. Finally, some service. Uh, service? Yes, the canopies. Out with them, boy. Here you are, sir. I present you with the... Uh, finest of canopies. Mm. Hey, these are all right. I hope the chef is finally starting to get a hang of things. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> all right, run along now. Hey, you can't go in there. That's engine room personnel only. I gotta get some canopies to the engineers. Captain's orders. Oh, all right then. Orders are orders. Hey, wait a minute! I'm the captain! Uh-oh. I better find a way to lock it first. That should keep him out for a while. Hey, you in there! Let me in! You're not supposed to be in there! I'm fetching security! 
I'll have them tear your head off once they get in there! Tear my head off? That's not a very nice thought. I ain't leaving through that door, that's for sure. I better try and find another way out of here. Hmm, nothing happened. I think this button controls the hatch in the ceiling, but it seems to be disabled somehow. Looks like a switchboard of some sort. It seems like it's connected to the button somehow. Who in their right mind builds a power switch like this? Too easy. Piece of cake. Well, that was convenient. We should be able to yank the engines right out with that crane. Hey, Kito! Kito! You fool! Up here! Above you! In the crane! Buona! What are you doing up there, man? Watch out! What you think, man? They're beautiful. I know, man. I think they may have a slight impact on the aerodynamics, though. Seeing as they are twice as big as the rest of the airplane and all. I know, but I figure the sheer power will compensate for that. Yeah, you probably right. Good job, Buana. Hey, buddy. See if you can figure out how to mount this baby. Ho, ho, ho. Good on ya, Buana. Let's see. This shouldn't be too tricky. Ta-da. Gorgeous. Well done, man. I'll go and get the rest of the parts. Fits perfectly. Buana, are you sure you know what you're doing? Hey, I know my avianications. It's gonna work like crazy, I swear. Oh boy, this is gonna be sweet. You're certain that's going to work now, Buana? Sure thing, lady. No worries. Steering wheel, check. I'm telling you, boss, this could be bad PR. There are hospitals there. I don't do charity. I don't make exceptions. I make examples. Shut down the whole district. Now! This better be important. Sir, we've tracked down the book. Seems it's at some old gas station run by cowman Dodo. Kynan Dodo! That wretched old pilot fool. I remember that oozing wreck of a gas station of his. It's in Kingsport Bay. Yes. The professor is probably heading there right now. Ransack the place and get me that book! Leave no witnesses. Yes, sir. We're on our way. <laughs> There we go. Last part is in place. I'll just get the engine steadied while you raise the anchor, okay? Then we can be off. Oh, 
Uh oh, the winch is all crooked. I can't turn it. I think we're gonna have to find a way to bend it in shape before we can use it. I think we got a problem, man. Our winch is all bent. I can't raise the anchor. Oh man, it looks all crooked. I wonder what happened. Maybe it took a hit or two back when we were towing the Rasta bike. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> well, if you can get it in order, we are basically set to go. Hey, how you coming along? Oh man, not you again. Listen, kid, I've got to have these plates welded by the morning or I'm losing my job. And I'm exhausted enough as it is. Hey, how about you give me a little break, huh? Please? Hey, can I borrow your maintenance card? No, kid, I told you to beat it. It's empty. Oh, don't remind me. I'd kill for a cup of coffee right now. I've got one hell of a night ahead of me. Looks like Makina's out of coffee. Yeah, I'll put some more on if a customer asks for it. What if I ask for it? Nice try, Buana. Hey, how's the coffee? Oh, it's awfully strong. Just the way I like it. There's nothing more pointless than diluted coffee. Hey, it turns! Hmm, seems like I can extend this freely. coffee it tastes like like water hey McKenna could you put some more on please make it me okay sure thing sailor another brew of mama McKenna's volcanic rock coming right up Hey, can I grab some coffee? Just one small itsy bitsy cup. Go ahead, Buana. It'll put some hair on your chest. Guess what your best buddy Buana just got you? Coffee! Jabi praise! Well, technically it's coffee, but you eat it with a spoon. We call it Makina's Volcanic Rock. It makes your belly button burn. Hey, this is awful. 
but I think it's working. Hey kid, thanks. I think maybe you just saved me my job. Can I please borrow your maintenance card? Sure, kid. I guess I owe you one. It's an Armando Railway maintenance card. What's up, kid? Hey, Bona, what's up, man? How come I never see your greasy face around here no more? Busy, man. Got a big customer going. <laughs> I bet you have. You high roller, you. So how's business? This place is getting lonesome, man. Now the trains don't stop here any longer. Ain't nobody come to visit to buy my goods. And I got some good goods, you know? Putting the good in the goods. That's what I used to say. <laughs> Sorry, man. I got no reason to come up here. Me and Kito mostly hang around the charter these days. Easy living, you know. Playing it cool in the bay. I hear you, man. The city is a lean, mean place. Nothing for a cool cat as yourself, one. I don't know, man. The city has its charms. But I've had my dose of it. Me and Kito grew up on those streets, you know. Doing the hustling, doing a lot of bad things. That's so, one. You don't strike me as no hoodlum. Who pulled you out of there? A guy named Kaunan Dodo. The original owner of the Chatter. He busted us when we were breaking into his place down by the bay. <laughs> we thought he was going to kick our faces in right there. Instead, he adopted us on the spot and helped us clean up our act. We owe a lot to old Kaunan Dodo, wherever he is. Man, ain't that a gripping story? You should be on TV. So, what's on TV? Same brilliant entertainment as usual on these networks. Now, I'm watching a guy stuff as many socks into his mouth as possible. He's playing genius. I could spend my life watching this stuff. <laughs> Isn't that exactly what you're doing? Hey, sharp as they come, one. What you selling, man? Magazines and newspapers and all their shapes and sizes. It's all wonderful garbage, though. You know that. Ranging from proof flinging journalism to ultra biased news updates. I'm just hopping in. Hoping some moron will buy a couple papers so I can close up and call it a day. What? You gonna go home and watch TV? Hey, how'd you guess? So, how come the trains don't stop here no more? Something about the Armando Power Company taking over and shutting things down. They own the Armando Railway Authority now, too. You heard about that, right? It's all over the newspapers if you're curious. I don't read this dribble I sell, though. I've got TV. See you later, man. Later, Buona. Stay frosty. It's out of my reach, man. That's it! The plate is all loose now. Sabotage rocks, man! <laughs> ha! It's straight as an arrow, man!
there we go. This means we finally ready to get out of here. Good job, Wana! I just got to get these last couple of boats in place, then we are ready to take off. Finally, the edge awaits. The edge? We going over the edge? Awesome! Forget it, lady. That's suicide. They've caught up with us. We need to get airborne now. Relax, lady. Whoever these guys are, they can't just barge in and... On second thought. Let's get out of here! Kito, get in here! We're taking off! Hold on, I'm almost done! It's working! Uh. Ooh, that was close! I'm not sure we shook them! They're chasing us! We got to take off! Here goes! I need more speed! Do something, Juana! Don't worry, lady! What? Why? Hold on to your dress! We are taking off! Whoa! We made it! We can stop screaming now. Don't worry about him. He has a problem with heights, that's all. You're a pilot and you're afraid of heights? No worry, lady. I'm fine with them as long as I don't see them. See? A lot better. Let me sit like this for a while and I'll be fine. Tell me if I need to turn or something. I can't believe it. My pilot is afraid of heights. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you guys. You did a good job. Wanna air? You'll never find a safer way to fly. I hope she is full to the brim with gas. Of course, lady. Full to the brim with gas. Right, Kito? Right, Buana. You mean you feel up, right? I only check for oil. Uh, we might have a problem here. Are you telling me you run a gas station for a living and you forgot to fill the plane with gas before we took off? Look at the gauge! It's full as bananas! Uh-oh! Juana, you moron! Oh! You pulled it 